Welcome to the 17th tutorial on Beginning Java. Today we're going to take a look at access modifiers. And of course in several of the previous videos we have seen these, right? If we go over this program we see this, you know, when we define classes, uh, methods, and variables. So it's only appropriate that we discuss how these work. So in this tutorial there was a lot to type out so I typed everything out and what I've done is I've set up two packages and a program in each one of the packages and both program A and program B are identical. They're both accessing methods and variables from this class template and the reason I made these the same was we're just going to talk about how these keywords work in terms of public private so it wasn't necessary to have different logic in these programs and also I put the comments in pink today please don't tease me uh, so that you could see this a little bit easier. So here's the first comment I wrote. Java provides a number of access modifiers to set access levels for classes, right here of course, variables, right here, and methods, right here, and constructors. We're going to go over classes, variable, and methods today. We're not going to talk about constructors. The four access modifiers are default, and that's where you put nothing in front of the variable. And actually, we've been doing that in almost all of our tutorials. Public, we've seen that in front of our classes and our methods. Private, we really haven't done that yet. That's usually used with variables. And protected, and again, that's usually used with variables too. So let's start with classes first. Now, classes can only use two of these four. It uses default, and public. You will not specify it as private or protected. And I wrote that right here as well. So again, if we remove this public, this class now is only available to everything in this package. It is no longer available to anything in this package. And you'll see that here. If we go here now, you can see, oops, we now get a message saying, I can't get to this class template. Now you will notice that this program here can still access the class template because he's in the same package, but this one cannot. Now, when you're trying to access a class that's in another package, you always have to use this import feature. That's why it's getting IntelliSense first on this. But this program is essentially the same as program A. The only difference, obviously, and it's a big difference, it's in a different package. So again, public means it's visible to the entire world. Everybody can see it. If you remove the public keyword, the default is it's visible only to the package. And I actually wrote that down here. Even though I, I wrote this for variable, it actually is the same for classes and methods. So again, it's visible to the package, the default. Visible to the package only. Public, visible to the world. So let's go back to the template. Actually, we already are in the template. <laughs> and let's go ahead and type in public. And this IntelliSense now should go away. And voila, look, it's gone and now it has access to this class template. Now I will say that in almost all scenarios you're going to want to use the public keyword here. There will only be a few scenarios where you don't want to make your class visible. But for the most part you're always going to want to have your class visible so other classes can call it. That's the whole point of objects, right? So you can get to them. So again, nine times out of ten you're going to make your class public. Okay, let's move on to variables. Now like I said, this is the one we've been using the most, where we didn't put any access modifier in front of our variable. And again, if you do that, it's visible only to the package. The second type I wrote out here is public, and as we said, that's visible to the world. The third type is protected, and that is a little bit less restrictive than this option, the default option. It's visible to the package and all subclasses. This has to do a lot with inheritance, and that's actually another tutorial, but I will show you how this works in this tutorial with variables. But you're going to use this with inheritance quite a bit. And then there is private, visible to the class only, and this is the most restrictive. Now, most developers will actually make their variables private. And you're probably asking the question right now, well then how do I get to it? And I will answer that. So let's go ahead and run program A. And you can see it added everything from this method that we told it to. Now you're saying, wait a minute, this was private. How did it add year? That was private. That was set to the most restrictive. The answer to that question is that this method print week that's defined in this template is public. So it has access to this private variable. Remember, we said class only. 
So again, this guy is going to have access to all the variables no matter what they're set to because everybody's got access to everything inside the class template. And this case is exactly how most developers will use this. They will set their method to public and let people access their private variables through the public method. But the variables will remain private because they don't want anybody messing with their variable. Now, what if we go back to this program and we decide to go ahead and give the variable another value here? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say new obj whoops now take a look at this day month and week are visible if we go back to the class template the year is set to private it is not visible did you guys see that that's pretty cool huh only those three will be visible because they are in the same package now let's go over to this program and try to set the variable objt dot and look at this only week is available because week was set to public all the rest of these are not available because protected available only the package default only available the package and of course private only the class so the only one we could see over there was week that was it let's get rid of that clear the intellisense and we'll get rid of that Okay, so now let's go back to the class template and we'll talk about methods and how the access modifiers work with methods. So let's go back to program B and let's actually go ahead and run that. And look, he's able to go ahead and sum these all up because we have access to this method in the template because it's set to public. Now let's go ahead and remove the public keyword. And if we go over here, Look, we've got IntelliSense, we can't get to it anymore. Now you will notice that program A over here still has access to it. In fact, let's go ahead and run it. And it works. Because this is set at the default method, and as we said, the default method is visible to the entire package. So this method still has full access to this class template and thus can get to this private variable and all the rest of the variables. So let's go back here reset this to public and the IntelliSense should be gone now because we have access to it and it's gone now as I wrote here public is the most widely used keyword for methods again you're gonna wanna have your methods public so people can get to your variables it doesn't make a lot of sense to lock these down so that's the most widely used case and as I said before with class as well it's really variables that you're gonna go ahead and set restrictions against now you might be asking, wait, isn't there another access modifier called static? But that deserves its own tutorial, so we're not going to worry about static right now. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you have a much better understanding of how these access modifiers work. Please check out the rest of my Java tutorials on my YouTube channel. Have a nice day, guys.